Hey, welcome and thanks for being here. Join me in the next five minutes as we learn how to take an existing foundational model, an open source LLM, and fine tune it with our own data to teach it something new with the open source project Instruct Lab. Now, what's unique is that I'm definitely not a data scientist. I'm a developer and the Instruct Lab's project's goal is to democratize contributing to LLM so that anyone can enhance a model with their domain specific knowledge from a consumer laptop and share it for others to use and also be able to contribute back upstream to AI model development the same way that we've been doing with open source software for decades. So no matter what industry that you might be in where generative AI could help, there's traditionally been a high barrier to entry in fine tuning large language models from the expertise needed to resources to maintaining a fork of that fine tuned model as well. So solutions like retrieval augmented generation have emerged to help improve model responses. But with fine tuning, we're actually able to bake in the knowledge and skills directly into a model, allowing us to enhance the responses with smaller prompt windows and create specialized models that can lower compute cost and increase performance. Plus, you could still leverage RAG to pull external and real-time data as well. So I'm here on my local machine. I've actually got Instruct Lab installed here. And what we're doing is serving a model similar to how we would with a web server so we can make requests to it. And this is the Granite 7 billion parameter. LLM that I can download from Hugging Face. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is ask a, a simple question. This is, what is the Instruct Lab project? And I was hoping to get something more similar to uh, democratizing AI and making it more accessible. But this answer that we got is, in fact, wrong. And it's actually what we call a hallucination. So I'm not happy. And my boss definitely isn't going to be too happy about this. So let's talk about the three main steps that you need to do in order to fine tune a model with the Instruct Lab methodology. So I think it's fair to say that AI models can't do everything, but what AI models do extremely well is work with large amounts of data to make our lives easier. And so what Instruct Lab does as a technique is it essentially allows you to use your organizational or personal data to enhance a language model by fine tuning it. And we're gonna break this down in three steps. So Firstly, what Instruct Lab provides is a structured approach to curate the data to train a model. So this is in what's known as a taxonomy, and we're essentially teaching a model the same way we learn through school, learning about different subjects. And this data is essentially really easy to be read by a human and be contributed to even if you have no data science or machine learning background experience. Now, after that, once we have that C data, Instruct Lab starts generating hundreds or thousands of additional examples uh, on top of what we've already curated and essentially quizzes a model with a teacher and a critic model in order to make sure that the data that we're training the model with is going to be good data. And finally, we have the training section where we integrate that new data back into the model using what's known as parameter efficient fine tuning or PEFT using a method called QLORA, which only updates a small subset of the entire foundational models, weights and biases so that I have a new LLM that I could run locally, I could share with others, or I could run in the cloud. Hey, so welcome back to the command line interface. I'm gonna go ahead and stop serving this model that we were using earlier to chat with. And I wanna show you how easy it is to get started with Instruct Lab. It's a simple install Instruct Lab. I've already done so on my machine, so I can do an iLab, which is the command line interface for using Instruct Lab for the model alignment that we're doing today. There's a lot of commands that you can use to chat, to convert your model to GGUF format, uh, to be shared with others. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is actually a iLab config init. And this is going to set up your environment to use Instruct Lab and to do model alignment. It's going to download that taxonomy, that directory structure to do the curation of data to train that model. Uh, and actually, it's already gone ahead and downloaded it for me when I did that iLab config init. So if I do a tree for the taxonomy and I'll show you the uh, first few lines, I can see that we've got this structure of skills and knowledge that we're going to be taking a look at today, both on the skill side of teaching a model to do new things, but also the knowledge and expanding its horizons on what it knows about. So let's head over to my IDE and we'll see this in action. Wonderful, we're here in the taxonomy directory and here we have this structure of how we can organize the different topics and domains that we want to teach the model about. And this is organized in skills and knowledge. So let's start off with the skill here that I've added for reading a markdown formatted table. So we've got an example of the context, a question that we would ask the model, and the desired output that we'd like to have back. And so we can provide examples of this to teach the model, uh, but also we could teach the model knowledge and new domains. For example, the Instruct Lab project itself. So as we saw before, 
The model didn't know what it was, but by providing these seed examples of questions like what is in StruckLab and the desired output that we'd like to have back, well, we can generate lots and lots of examples during our synthetic data generation process once we hop back into the terminal and also point to a document. So this could be multiple documents of markdown formatted uh, text to include in the references that we make when we're generating more of these examples. So let's hop back in the terminal and do this synthetic data generation and training process for our new model. So let's make sure that the data that we added has been correctly formatted with an iLab taxonomy diff, just to make sure that things are looking as they should. Well, looks like the taxonomy is valid. So let's proceed in the next step and actually generate the synthetic training data. And we're going to use a teacher model to actually help us with this process. So we can serve this granite model that we were talking to before. We could serve a Merlinite model, which is a derivative of Mistral, could be Llama, could be any open AI API compatible model, which can help us with this synthetic jet data generation process. And now all we have to do is actually kick this off on the bottom terminal and do an iLab data generate with however many instructions or examples that we want the uh, process to create. So let's come back once this is finished. So the synthetic data generation process just finished up and we can see that we've got some generated examples that have been created uh, through this model that's been served in order to create additional training data. So then we could do an iLab model train and depending on your hardware resources, whether you have a GPU or not, we can bake this new information back into the model. But in true demo fashion, what I've gone ahead and already done is trained the model for us so we could see it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and stop serving that old Merlinite model. And we've got a new model to serve, which is this iLab pre-trained quantized version of the model that we did all within InstructLab earlier today. And so we've gone ahead and started serving this model. And I'll go ahead and chat with it the same way that we were chatting with that original model at the beginning of the video asking it what the InstructLab project was. So this time, hopefully, if we ask, what is the InstructLab project? Well, we've got a great answer that tells us all about what InstructLab is doing, the benefits, the openness of the project. And it's incredible that we've taught the model something new from a curated C data to generating those synthetic data examples to finally performing that fine tuning that we didn't do here, but you can do on your own, on your personal machine, and maybe you could even update your job title as AI engineer. But jokes aside, I do want to say thank you so much for joining me on this journey of fine tuning an open source model with the open source project Instruct Lab. Now, I want to point you to join the community uh, on GitHub. So github.com slash Instruct Lab. Uh, but you can also check out the latest models that are being contributed to from the community through these pull requests. Uh, contribute your own uh, expertise and domain knowledge and take a look at the paper that actually created this open source project. Now, together, I think we can really build an amazing future of open source AI model development. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.